Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and uh, you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then uh, subscribe to this channel because on this channel I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics. So if you want to grow uh, really fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any updates. My world, is it worth to learn JSP and servlets in 2020? So JSP, are you saying JavaScript programming? JavaScript programming is certainly uh, very popular in 2020. Even Java is very popular in 2020. 40% of all projects across the world and mostly product companies uh, are using Java. Okay, so when you say Java, they are also using servlets. They are using the, the proper JavaScript technology. Okay, so whether you talk about J2EE, okay, uh, Spring Hibernate Framework, you know, servlets, uh, REST APIs. So everything, if, uh, we just talked about JSONP format. Okay, so that is also because of Java that that JSON format has come into uh, into picture. So uh, in 2020 and even beyond Java, Java is a very popular pro programming language. I did a video about the uh, 20 top most popular programming languages in 2020. Uh, this video I did, I think at the beginning of the year and uh, Java was within the top four, I think four programming languages, which includes Python, Java and C surprisingly. Okay. And I don't know which one was, uh, which one was the fourth one, but Java is very popular. Uh, JavaScript is very popular. Okay. And when you are talking about Java, then servlets see look at all the enterprise applications okay it is very difficult to build enterprise application with some of the programming languages like um, javascript you see javascript is very good at prototyping javascript is very good when uh, you want to build something really fast but after if you want to build an enterprise application, then you will see that there will be a combination of Java and JavaScript in the project. Okay. So a lot of server side coding will be done using Java instead of just uh, JavaScript uh, framework. Correct. So Java, Java is popular in that manner. Okay. And there is also legacy applications. So many applications which have already been developed in Java. They are still be getting developed. They are still adding features to those uh, applications and whatever companies made that decision in 1990s and uh, the beginning of 2000, they have not changed their decision. They have not said, oh, now we are going from Java to this. No, they may have added layers. So for example, let's say uh, they have built an entire enterprise application using Java and they may build a front layer using jQuery or they may build a front-end layer using React JavaScript or they may use a, a front-end layer using Angular JavaScript or some other because uh, everything has become modular which means there are microservices, there are uh, APIs which are there. You don't, you, you never connect with the server directly. You're connecting through a loosely coupled API system, okay, an application programming interface. There is always an interface system which is available, okay. So, uh, how does the back end behave and how does the front end behave? Usually it's not, uh, you, you can change your technology, whatever new technology is coming in, what new tools are coming in, you can easily change the front end. And you know, front end keeps changing because uh, when the front end technology changes, for example, when uh, internet moved from internet 1.0 to internet 2.0, which was the social uh, networking and everything. In that case, uh, HTML5 came up with all the features. In this case, we had to change the front end. We could not use the old HTML, correct? We had to use the new notations of HTML and we had to change HTML. We had to change uh, CSS scripts. 
okay if we wanted our websites to function properly okay not that the old website would not be working but if you see the recent news uh, microsoft discontinued microsoft teams on old versions of internet explorer which means if you have an internet explorer edge or internet edge i think it's called edge then your microsoft teams will work but they have stopped support for old versions of internet explorer to support microsoft teams because microsoft teams this has moved further to take advantage of the new technology to take advantage of all the things available to them the cloud infrastructure the front end programming the back end programming okay so java will not lose its uh, shine java will remain popular uh, it is still uh, in demand for the next 20 30 40 years it's not going anywhere it's not going away just imagine programming languages like cobol okay which are used even before i started programming are still used in presence in lot of mainframe computing okay and and places where these machines have not changed so there are cobol programmers now you and me don't know about that because nobody is doing that okay so the easiest way that these people are getting trained is company will hire somebody and then they will train them on cobol and then they will train them to maintain the mainframes but these mainframes are not going anywhere these mainframes will stay whatever has been developed and whatever is working nobody is going to change that okay that is the beauty about software the softwares that were developed in the in the past of course there are companies which are moving but that uh, upgrades or migration to new technology is very slow very slow okay there are so many companies which are still using technology which was in 1990s and the 2000 okay they have not come to 2020s okay so uh, these programming languages will remain uh, whatever programming language whatever programming language we know okay and which we hear are there and will remain okay they they are not going anywhere so subscribe to this channel before you go like this video if you have liked what i have discussed so far in the video okay share this video with your friends so that we can grow as much as possible uh, thank you very much stay focused stay rich and see you in the next live